hello guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to work on this the same automation that I did with Python now I'm going to do the same thing with Java so if you if you're not aware about what I did with Python what I did is sort of YouTube automation so using YouTube API's I'm getting three information from any channel that I want I can get the views count total views count the subscriber count and the video count from any channel so if I just do a demonstration let me run this so currently I'm trying to get the information of channel PewDiePie so it is going to print out these three information view count subscriber and video count So as you can see it took uh, some time not sure why but you can see the view count you can see the subscriber count and the videos count right so that is what we are going to do in this video I will explain each and everything after rewriting each and everything so before we uh, start with that if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do and let's jump back to the detail explanation so uh, what we have to do first is first we have to go to this URL console.cloud.google.com and if you are new to this you need to first create an account you can use your any Gmail account to sign into this once you get logged in it will ask uh, you to create a project I'm not sure but I'm hoping it, it will when you create a project you will see project like this here right so when you do that we need two things actually what we need is first we need a credential so let me first go to the dashboard okay I'm in the dashboard uh, so here you can see we have credential option so first you need to go to the credential option I didn't go to the credential option give me a second okay so here you can see a credential option so first we need to create a credential and I'll, and I will explain why so as you see this is the URL that we are trying to hit here so if you see this URL it's similar to this one so when we try to get a response we need to provide an authentication which is here as key so we need an API key to be provided with the URL to get the data back so that authorization key is linked with your Google Cloud account right so to create that credential you just need to create click on create create credential and it is going to create an API key something like this then you just have to copy this key here and you need to paste after this equal sign right so let me first tell you about this uh, URL so this URL till here v3 is our Google data URL so when you go to library when you go to YouTube data API it will open up something like this and here you can see the URL being used as Google API YouTube v3 right so after hitting that part we just need to provide the channel information right because we want to get the channel info info as in which part do you want to get so I just want to get the statistic and then I need to provide the username or the ID of that channel and then I need to provide the key and the parameters have to be separated using this ampersand character right so this is what we need to do before we actually kick on with the code so you need to first log in to the uh, Google API console create a credential and then you can come back to this code so let me start with the code okay so first let me remove each and everything here I'll keep it blank uh, blank class with the main method 
which will look something like this so this is a maven project and we need two dependencies one is json and another one is json simple so why we need that i'll explain so first what we need to do we need to uh, get the data back from the url so here if you see uh, we are getting the data back as json format so we need first to get the data so i'll just use url u equals to new url and here i'm going to provide the url but le first let me import url right so let me copy this of pewdiepie okay uh, let's do a try catch block okay so we just got the object created now what we need to do is we need to open this so to open this i'm going to use open connection method and i'm going to create a connection create a local variable of type url connection and then i need to parse it uh, wait a sec add catch to surrounding try so that's done okay okay um, I'm okay I don't think there is a need for uh, parsing now what we need to do is we need to connect so when we connect we get a response back right and to read that response we are going to use a stream so I'm going to create a buffer reader object br goes to new object br and here I'm going to create an input stream so input stream reader because the data is coming as a stream an input stream so I'll just do here con dot get input stream got it so we now got the data now I'm going to uh, create a string from this reader so that I can then parse that string to JSON so I will be using string builder or you can use string also both of them will do the work okay so created a string builder now I'm going to read the buffer reader till we reaches at the end of the stream so while so here I need a variable string which is going to read line by line so here I will check first get the data into line so we'll do line equals to PR dot read line and then I'll check if the data is null or not because if the data is null that means that you have reached the end of the stream so you don't have to read anymore so I'll just append till it doesn't get to the end of the stream and I'll append it using new line okay and then I can directly close the reader or you can use uh, automatic resource um, allocation using Java 7 try catch okay after this we need to convert our string back to JSON not back to into JSON so I I will be needing JSON object and if you if you see from where we got json object we got it from org dot json which is from this dependency so that's why we needed this now after getting json object i'll just do json obj and then i'll create a new object here json object and i need to provide the data so we'll do to string right now I need what I need from this is I need to get this items information first so I'll just do uh, JSON obj dot get JSON array and I'll just do items okay after getting that I need to get the zeroth item so here we will do get index as in zero after getting this we need to get statistic array again 
so we will do get JSON okay first we need to uh, get this in a variable so we'll do JSON object again and do item obj equals to okay something went wrong okay let me do something like this and let's do items and then create a local variable and then let's do items dot okay I made a stupid mistake okay that that is why it was not working okay so we need to get zero or the first item so what we need to do is we need to do get JSON object and I made that mistake right now we needed to get the object statistic so here we will just do get JSON object again and here I'll just do I can copy this okay let's do this and after that I can get the subscriber of obj so I'll just do subs obj back right now I have everything with me so I'll just do this out and I'll do subs obj what I need to get is I need to get view count so I'll just copy this I'll do dot get and I will here do so what does get return get returns an object so we will just do dot to string and we will copy this paste it two times and instead of view count I'll do subscriber count here and view count here save it and let's run it so as you can see it displays the total number of views subscribers and total videos and there are two ways to use this API as I said before you can use for username or ID so here I'm going to use the ID of my channel which uh, if I go to YouTube and I'm really sorry my internet is really slow today okay I cannot see the icon okay uh, when I go to my channel you can see this ID so this is my channel ID so here I'm going to use ID equals paste it and I'll run this code so just a time uh, like a time time by time comparison so it says I have 240 subscribers here and so does here so this is all about this video I hope you have learned something new if you did don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and thank you guys for watching have a good day bye bye